to give you an overview of information we've received from witnesses and from a video clip that we've seen. Understand that we're not the official investigators on this. It'll be the NTSB and the FAA. We're doing a death investigation only. So I'm not the expert here. I am just giving you preliminary information. It started about 10.38 this morning. This aircraft is what they call an EAB, Exper Experimental Amateur Build. It is a brand new airplane. It just received its certificates at the end of last year, around October-ish, and it was brought here. One of the owners of this plane is Arthur Canning. He was also the pilot today. The next of kin has been notified. Arthur is 76 years of age. He lives in the south of Lakeland area. This is called the South of Lakeland Airport. However, it's on Highway 60 in the suburbs, if you will, of Mulberry and well south of the city of Lakeland. He taxied down to start and fly into the wind, which is obviously protocol. As he got off of the ground, witnesses heard the engine sputter. When the engine sputtered, he apparently stalled and crashed directly into the ground. And he immediately died as a result of horrific traumatic injuries from the crash. It's a new plane. We are told at this point in the investigation that he flew it for the first time one week ago. In fact, less than a week ago last Saturday. Now, having said that, he's been a pilot for 10 years. He's flown ultralights for 10 years. It's a horrible tragedy and certainly not something that any of us ever want to witness. But we will do our part of the investigation, the death investigation, NTSB and FAA are the experts. They're coming and they will do their investigation later today. And that's the information that we know at this point in the investigation. Okay, any questions? Because Be the engine sputter, does that mean there's an issue with the engine? We have no idea. They said they heard it sputter. And once it sputtered, they, the, the plane was climbing out and it crested over and went directly into the ground. So it was a hard impact, nose first into the ground. You know, I don't know what kind of radio system they have in the plane, but this happened so quickly, it's very unlikely. But if they had the appropriate system in the plane and it was ex exceptionally quick, certainly he could have made a transmission, but it would have had to have been real quick because he was up and into the ground in seconds. Sure, this looks like an open field behind you. Can you explain a little bit what this is? Sure, this is a grass airstrip and they call it the South Lakeland Airport. It's been here for years and years. It parallels Corn Cornet Road and is a very popular airfield. In fact, people live adjacent to it and they park their airplanes at their home. So we have enthusiasts and amateurs. And at one time, I know that we had a retired airline pilot that kept his small plane here. I don't know if he still lives here or not. But once again, he was taken off. It's our understanding that it was just certified at toward October-ish, end of October, 1st of November of last year. But he has only flown it about two, three times to our knowledge. Okay, thank you very much.